Hey guys, welcome to Art in Context, your art blog since 2020. I'm Demi and today we're going to be learning how to create a sea turtle drawing. Alright, let's begin the process by preparing your materials and observing the sea turtle. Work from a reference image that you think will translate really well as a drawing. Next, find the center of the page and draw a point with a pencil. This is kind of the point you'll be working from to create the basic foundations of your sea turtle sketch, so make sure you get it right in the center. Working from the center point, draw an accurate shape of the turtle's shell with a pencil. The general shape should be sort of egg-shaped, tilted at its side, with the left side being slightly wider than the right. Now, draw an accurate shape of the head and its four flippers. The head's shape is oval, the front flippers should be triangular shaped, and the back flippers are more circular and paddle shaped. Begin outlining your planning with a darker pencil. Observe that the turtle's head is slightly beak-like. The shell has grooves and certain mounds and areas. Add a lateral line that runs from the base of the neck to the third back flipper. This will create the full shape of the shell. Finish your outline and begin sketching the details of its flippers and facial features. First, sketch in the line of the mouth, two small circles for the nostrils, and the basic shape of the eye and the sea turtle's eyelids. Now let's begin outlining your planning with a pen or fine liner. Start from the head first and work your way around the sea turtle drawing in all the lines and basic details of its facial features. Okay, now wait for your pen work to dry and erase any initial pencil planning. Okay guys, this is where it gets really fun. Pick up a pencil again and begin adding more details to the facial features, working from left to right if you're right-handed and right to left if you're left-handed. Really try and capture the scale-like patterns and wrinkles that are formed across the head and body. Now fill the eye and leave a white space in the middle for a small highlight. This will create that dimension and give the sea turtle a little bit more character. And now we can add a bit more shading and texture to the body below the shell. Next. Sketch the patterns that are formed on the frontal flipper. They should be sort of triangular shaped and wrap around the side and over the top of the flipper. Sketch the basic pattern formed on the shell. These scales are called shoots and are also made up of hexagons, pentagons and all sorts of shapes that connect. Add shading to the shell and the rest of the flippers. Okay, next. Let's start filling the darker areas of shadows using either liquid ink, pens or liners. Drawing ink or liquid ink works really well to cover quite a bit of surface area so it's great for large drawings or illustrations. Fill all the darkest areas of the sea turtle first and leave white space open for highlights. This will create high contrast and dimension in your illustration. Here's a sweet tip. You can use a fine paintbrush to create really delicate marks and textures. As we reach our final few steps, this is where you can really let your creativity and own style come into play as you blend your shadows into your highlights. You can also use various techniques of pointillism, cross-hatching and other techniques of shading to round and shape the edges of your drawing. Once you feel your drawing is balanced and that you are happy with your sea turtle drawing, wait for the pen work to dry and then erase any existing pencil lines. Sign your finished illustration and please do go ahead and add color if you want to add your own artistic flair. And there you have it, your very own sea turtle drawing. Thanks so much for joining us at Art in Context, guys. Please make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos and tutorials. Have an awesome day and thanks so much for joining us.